is why we love the Ozarks. Goodness. Time to head deeper into them. Hey, how's it going everyone? It is currently about 7.45 and Maddie and I have about 45 minutes left until we get to the hike that we're doing today. Got a fun one lined up for us and we haven't done it in right at three years. It's got a few names, one of them being the Big Bluff Trail, another being the Goat Trail. It's an in and out trail right at seven miles. Um, I think last time we did it, it was more of like seven and a half-ish, but who's counting? Anyways, like I said, got about 45 minutes left and we got some views that we're working with. So, gonna continue on and we'll see y'all when we get out there. We've got about 10 minutes left in. As y'all can see, it is super, super foggy now, but uh, hopefully the sun comes out and it clears up a little bit. Regardless, gonna be a dope hike. So, see y'all in just a sec. Once we get up here, I think it just starts going down. Well, even with the fog, that's so pretty. It is still foggy out right now, but you can kind of see the outline of the valley and the mountains all around. We got just under three miles till we get to the bluff, and then probably about a quarter to a half mile walking along it. It's right at 30 degrees right now, probably a little over, but as soon as we got on the trail, kind of started going down into the valley a little bit blocked out basically all the wind so we're big chilling right now but if i do remember correctly most of the trail is kind of like what we're walking on right now just a pretty nice little almost atv like trail if it was a little wider so not too too much going on here once we get down to the overlook it makes it all worth it even this though is prettier than i remember it being yeah don't remember it being like that at all so yeah just because on the way back we were pissing ourselves that's true, yeah. Last time when we did it, it was like 90 to 100 degrees probably, and wasn't the most enjoyable hike at that point. So, whole different uh, hike it feels like that we're on now, so probably gonna be a little bit more enjoyable. Anyways, see y'all down at the bluff. Twelve hundred feet elevation descent in about two miles is quite a bit. And then we have to walk. We do this for the people. I think the fog is going way up. Even though it hasn't warmed up, but probably like five or so degrees, it feels like it's warmed up like 20. That wind was nasty. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I know, I should have brought my sunglasses. Can't see anything. There's no 
the bog over there, so we're right now. All right, on we go. So Maddie and I have made it down to the bluff and this is the view that everyone comes for. Definitely don't want to lose your footing, but a lot of people make this trail out to be a lot worse than what it is and they act like it's a super narrow ledge, but right here where we're walking, we've got, I don't know, yeah, at least four or five feet. So definitely not as bad as what most people make it look with their fisheye filter and stuff. We are big chilling and uh, not that nothing can happen, but as long as you're careful, cautious, respect it and watch your footing, you should be good to go. And I would recommend anyone thinking of doing this hike to do it because it is really not that bad. And you get blessed with some pretty freaking crazy views. See, yeah, that is definitely not near as narrow as what everyone makes it seem. Once we go down around this point, can get to some more views. So you already know that's where we're headed. See you on a sec. So once you continue down the trail, um, it kind of opens up to this little cave type area. And if you keep going, you can continue back that way for just a little bit. Goodness though, these views, so wild. Maddie is right back over there around that drop. So I'm gonna go get back to her. <sighs> Jesus. All right, yeah, so I just came from that way. Before when Maddie and I did it and it wasn't wet, we had one around that tree, but you can also go up right there. <sighs> but look at this hang on hang on can't give it away just yet jesus jesus okay, let's get over here holy smokes mm -hmm. gotta do it for the people yeah 
So again, Maddie and I, we came, we saw, we conquered. Luckily for us and to our surprise, there was literally nobody out here. When we first got down here, there was a group that had followed us in, but they were only here for maybe five minutes, literally like no time at all. And once they left, we've had this whole entire ledge to ourselves. And so got some good pictures, enjoyed it and just relaxed a bit. But now we've got about a three mile hike back out, all uphill for the most part. So going to get to it and enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it as much as we can. See you on a bit. Okay, so right here, before you get back to the main trailhead, there's two ways to do it. You can either go down and around like Maddie's doing, or you can go the way that I'm going. And why do I opt to go this way, you may ask? No reason other than the extra added adventure. Back to the trail. Yeah, now, now that we're back moving, it is getting warm again. <laughs> 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 my, whole, my whole hill just sunk in. No. As always, it was worth getting up at about 5 a.m. to get out here and beat all the traffic. We didn't actually leave the bluff till about 11.30 and even doing that, we only passed three different groups, maybe? Yeah, like three different groups, probably like six, seven people total. So still basically had it all to ourselves, at least while we were down there, we did. But we have got about a two and a half hour drive home. We are both fiending for some food. So this is where the video is gonna end. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a great rest of the day. Till next time. Peace. Also, look at this view. Holy smokes. No ice makes running back for these still shots a lot easier. We do it for the people. We do this for the people.